have a cardboard spool with nylon rope and a problem for you. Here's the question. If I place it on the floor and then pull the nylon rope, what will happen to the spool? Will it unroll and go away from me? Will it roll up and come towards me? Or will it stay the same distance as it is from my hand and slide along following me like a dog? Three choices. Pick one of them now. which one you picked. Tell you what, I think I can make it do all three of those things simply by talking to it nicely. And I know what you're saying, you're saying that's impossible! <laughs> just as you treat a dog. Watch this. Now first of all I want it to go away from me, so I'll simply say to it, go away, go away, go away, ah yes, that's it, good boy. Now, come, come, come on, good, look at that. Two out of three. One more thing to demonstrate, and that is following like a dog. Now this time I want you to slide along the floor. Don't roll one way or the other, just slide and follow me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Right, come gently, that's it. Marvellous! Fantastic! Three out of three. How did I do it? Is it a trick spool? No, it isn't. It's all to do with the angle of the rope and the spool. Did you notice? When I want it to go away from me, I pull the rope up at a steep angle and it rolls away. When I want it to come towards me, down at a shallow angle and it comes towards me, rolling up. And when I want it to slide, this is the hardest of all, you have to sort of feel the angle, watch the spool, you eventually get it just right, and it slides. Follows like a dog. And to do this, you don't have to have a big spool like that. You can try a small one. Plastic spool with nylon or string, or even a cotton reel, like this. Once again, if you practice, you can make it do all three things. With a cotton reel, it's very, very hard. What I want you to do this week is first of all try it yourself, and then try it on your friends. I want to know. Thank you.